In this episode, Elon provides fresh details regarding the Cybertruck and the Model 3 Highland prototype that may have been spotted in the wild. Alright, let's get moving! Even though the focus of Tesla's most recent product launch was the new Semi, Elon made sure to drop a few easter eggs about the upcoming Cybertruck and how it will interact with the new megawatt-powered supercharger. The Tesla Semi specifications, testing industry metrics, and an explanation of the new V4 supercharger was all covered at the launch event. It was also revealed that the Cybertruck would also be using this system. Since a Tesla Semi charging station was spotted at the Frito-Lay plant in Modesto around July of this year 2022, Tesla fans have been eagerly awaiting the new V4 supercharger. The V4's status as a separate device from the Semi's mega charger was still unclear at the time. While there were some educated guesses regarding the capabilities of this new apparatus, it was unclear how it fits into the Tesla roadmap. Senior manager of semi-truck engineering, Dan Priestley, provided a more thorough explanation of the system during the delivery event presentation, like how the liquid cooling of the cable enables a slimmer size and how the V3 charging cable's conductor tubes, which immerse the high-voltage wire in coolant to enable it to reach extreme capacity, cycle the coolant back through them. To put things in perspective for you all, the V3 charging cables in use today have a charging output of up to 250 kilowatts. The new V4 charging cable, according to Priestley, can produce 1 megawatt DC. It makes sense for the semi to have a cable that can output more than 4 times as much as the V3. Although its exact battery capacity is unknown, it is most likely close to 900 kilowatt hours. However, we are aware that the semi's maximum range with a full load is 500 miles. Thus, in order to avoid hours of downtime, a driver who wants to charge their electric Tesla tractor needs a quick charging system. The truck fitted for the system is really what caught everyone off guard. The size of the battery that will be in the Cybertruck when it goes into production in 2023 hasn't really been confirmed. We've received some paperwork and executive hints about a new battery production line called CDA Battery B that will be constructed in August 2022 at the Fremont factory. Therefore, it is reasonably safe to assume that Tesla at the very least intends to fit the truck with their 4680 battery. The fact that the semi was revealed to be Tesla's first high-voltage electric powertrain architecture capable of operating up to 1,000 volts is also intriguing. Every other Tesla before it operated on a 400-volt system, higher voltages are used in electronics, which results in lower system resistance and faster charging speed. Some of Tesla's competitors have already incorporated this technology. The Lucid Air can handle up to 900 volts, while Porsche runs their Taycan at 800 volts. Therefore, it would be reasonable to assume that the Cybertruck will run on the same 1,000-volt electronic system if it is going to be able to fast charge at 1 megawatt like the Semi. This could probably charge a Cybertruck to capacity the same amount of time if it can recharge 70% of the extra-large battery pack on a Semi-truck in 30 minutes. Anyone who wants to tow with a Cybertruck will find that useful. Increasing charging speeds is undoubtedly something Tesla is aiming to do for all of its vehicles. It is therefore possible that they simply seized the chance to construct the Cybertruck in order to utilize the new V4 superchargers. Regardless of the motivation, the new charger is an impressive piece of technology, and it is encouraging to learn that it will be applied to more than just the truck. Given Tesla's recent open sourcing of charger specs in an effort to establish itself as the North American charging technology standard, the V4 system is set to roll out to the company's supercharger network in 2023. A major plus for them in that endeavor would be the new V4, and perhaps we'll see another car added to that list with the Model 3's rumored refresh scheduled for next year. By the way, if you're enjoying this content, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, stay tuned until the end to know more about the 2023 Model 3. A Tesla Model 3 prototype was spotted in Santa Cruz, California, not long after last week's rumors about a potential update to the model went viral. 
A user at OMG underscores Tesla posted a video and pictures of a white Model 3 with its front and back ends covered in fabric. The fabric hides the body shape and the shape of the lights, which shows that changes have been made but aren't ready to be shown yet. Some astute readers of the comments also pointed out that the area around the headlights was just sheer enough to discern the lines of what might be a new camera module a little higher up the assembly. It could certainly be that, as a camera would help eliminate a known blind spot in that area. The news organization Reuters covered a leak of the Highland Model 3 redesign project just a few weeks ago on November 28. The report cited sources close to Tesla who said the car would undergo a process to cut down on the number of parts used in manufacturing it, the complexity of its interior, and that some attention would be paid to the infotainment display. In 2021, the Model S underwent a similar design update. Current Tesla standards were adhered to in a number of areas, including the headlights and taillights. When looking at the lights on this Model 3 prototype, it's difficult to avoid thinking of that. The new Model 3's production, however, was also expected to start in Shanghai and the Fremont factory in California sometime in the third quarter of 2023, according to the Reuters report. And the Fremont factory is only about an hour's drive from Santa Cruz. The pictures don't reveal anything more. But it's fascinating to see a Model 3 prototype out in the open so soon after the Reuters leak. It certainly fits the timeline, so perhaps we'll get to see an exposed version soon. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Fred. Please subscribe to our channel for more technology updates and like and share this video. Now, do you know that Tesla introduced a new two door Cybertruck? Interested? Then click and watch the next video here.